if it is not the day I've been waiting for on this channel, the day where I get to check out a new song by Iron Maiden finally has come. I knew it was coming eventually, I just didn't know when, but it was coming. And I finally got the chance. Now, the song came out now uh, from the time I'm recording today, two days ago. Uh, it was on you know, Thursday is when it uh, premiered. On that day, while I had the TV blasting in the background and I was doing dishes, I let it play. I gave myself permission to listen to this one time. Not a proper listen at all, because truthfully, there's parts of the song, even coming into it right now, I feel like I don't really remember what I heard. I know I was enjoying the feel of the song. That's basically all I was able to get. I, I knew I couldn't record for a couple of days, and I knew I couldn't wait. But this is still going to be basically a first-time reaction, because I, like I said, like unless you're sitting down with headphones on... Like I'm doing here, it's not really proper reaction. Or if I'm in my car only listening to the song, just me in there. That's like the only two places where I ever pick up on everything in a song. So, I did want to put that in there just to say I kind of have a feel for it already. And I feel I feel like I have to be honest about that. Even though I know I could have just, you know, did it. And had that feeling of like the first time listen still. But uh, that's not how I am. I like to let you guys know in advance. So... Let's not wait any longer. Iron Maiden, the writing on the wall. Super, finally pumped to have this. Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't even know how I withheld to do a Trivium first before this, but I did. Nice. Already having a, a memorabilia showing up. That's cool. Oh, I should say that I didn't look at the video because I was doing stuff at the same time. So I have no idea what's happening here in the video. That's part of the clues. Ace is high on the sign over there. Book of Souls tour plane. Nice. Okay, just... There's a lot of things going on. You guys obviously heard what I pointed out there. We had the Ace is high. Uh, there was, it's either going to be a saloon or some form of store. We had uh, Ed Forest 1 for the Book of Souls tour plane was crashed. Pretty sure... I can't remember exactly where it's from. It was from a single or not, but the uh, winged creature hanging over there is off of something. I can't remember which album cover at this moment. I feel like it's Number of the Beast, but I feel like I'm wrong by saying it at the same time. So I feel like there's more than one album cover that is something like that. Um, so far, I'm kind of enjoying the feel. It feels a little different. It feels almost like a country twang almost to it, if you know what I mean, but not really. It's definitely rock, but you got that little feeling to it. Um... I did talk to Andy Beads, who has been on here with me before, uh, to do reactions in the past. Uh, last time that I went to see Iron Maiden, he was the one I went with. And uh, he mentioned that this uh, gave him a little bit of feel, like Adrian Smith had uh, written this one. I do believe it mentions it somewhere, that I just didn't see it. Um, but you definitely get the feeling like he wrote it. If you listened to the uh, Smith Cosin that we did one song of, if you remember correctly, on the channel a few months ago. Uh, it kind of has a little bit of feeling from that writing style is what he pointed out I'm going to try to see that as well on this lesson um, so far that intro kind of does give a little bit of that feel already and I just wanted to put that in there because uh, I'm not sure if anybody else has noticed that yet uh, but he noticed it already on his few listens that it has that kind of feel to it There's a lot of mem like there's a lot of things, like a lot of eddies going on here, which is really interesting. Okay. 
I'm sorry, I will back it up again, but I just noticed too many things at once. So obviously this is the president's car. Uh, I thought it was supposed to be mocking like Donald Trump here at first, but so I thought I saw the yellow, but it looks more like it's a pack for like breathing or something. Uh, there's an astronaut that I'm going to assume is to play off of the final, uh, what's the album called? The Final Frontier? Fuck, I hate when I'm, it's late at night and I forget stuff. Um, yeah, there's just a lot of stuff going on, a lot of references, and I'm quite happy about that. I'll put it back, though, so I don't mess up the lyrics. I know some of you are yelling at me for pausing so much, but keep in mind, I'm super familiar with Iron Maiden already. And I'm a huge fan, obviously, by the name. So picking up all these little details is super important to me. Not completely sure of this reference. Obviously, I feel like they're playing off of uh, the Donald Trump China thing because it does. Like you have to admit, like as much as a grotesque figure uh, for the, that president, it kind of. I think they kind of were pushing the Donald Trump thing just because. Why else make it like a bigger guy that kind of has the same shape, the same you know kind of appeal? It it would be weird if it wasn't, but maybe it wasn't. But I feel like it is. Um, I feel like Bruce is voice. I think the more we're going forward at this point, you're going to start to notice that Bruce is singing a little. And I've noticed this on like the last release, well, in the Book of Souls. Um, you can definitely tell he's changing up his singing style slightly um, to accommodate his aging uh, of his voice. Uh, obviously, he also had the cancer, cancer uh, scare that he was able to push through. Um, but you can tell in some instances where I feel like his, he's he's definitely trying to accommodate a bit now because he is getting to that age where you're going to start to see because uh, unfortunately all of our heroes get old and I am starting to notice some things where it's like oh he you know especially going to see them live last time like oh like he doesn't run around the whole time now he has to go out back get some water and stuff a lot more often you know it, it's going to happen but sounds good so far Okay, there's satellite dishes again. That kind of points towards that. Uh, the Zeppelin that's crashed, obviously a reference to the last album as well. Uh, yeah.
stop it. Okay, I'm gonna stop it here again. I'm loving the chorus. It's pretty catchy. Um, I think it's gonna get even more catchy the more I listen to it. The video is getting pretty epic now. It looks like someone's coming in here to save, or is at least on the side of the people, and it's coming to uh, s help save those people, uh, which is cool. Uh, the art. I I'm liking the art direction for the video. So they always do like these cool art directions with their videos, like anime, especially the, now that they have like a lot like the the the, the Iron Maiden game, the Iron Mobile game. And all that and different animations and stuff. I love how they always push animation and stuff like that lately, instead of the band. Um, we all know we all know the band at this point. You know, I, I love that they can do these cool things like this. I'm gonna assume it's gonna be Eddie related for this person that's coming to save uh, these people or even destroy these people that are in this room. I I'm, I have a feeling that it's it's like these people in this room are like the higher class people uh, that are being saved, kinda. Where they're gonna let the poor people and those that are less fortunate to s stay outside the wall. So, the writing on the wall. I don't have the lyrics open up in front of me because those of you that know, I don't like having lyrics open because I'm jumping back and forth and I have to pay attention to what I'm hearing, what I'm seeing on the video and lyrics. It's just too much. Um, I'll pick up on the lyrics in the future when I listen to this like 20,000 times. Um, but by the title, the writing on the wall, I'm curious if it's if it's you know, the meaning of the lyrics going behind this being what I just said. We'll see. Okay, well, I want to get a clear look at this. Cool. That's interesting to have the, the four extra teeth sticking out, too. Um, yeah, I guess we have Samurai Eddie. I wasn't expecting that. I really wasn't expecting that from the way he was coming in in the robes um, and the way he did. That's interesting. Okay. We had a little solo before that, too. I knew there would be another solo, there always is. What, that's cool? Different endings too. CLXPI. What do you guys think that stands for? I've got no idea. Just, you know, obviously instant thinking. I've got nothing right off the top of my head. What do you guys think? I 
that's super interesting. Okay. Story by Bruce Dickinson. Ryan Noel Smith. Yeah, there you go. Smith. Okay. So Dickinson for the lyrics and Smith for the instrumental parts, I'm assuming. Interesting. Kevin Shirley's still the producer. Obviously, Steve Harris has always been a co-producer. But before we keep going through that, there was a lot of a lot of little Easter eggs throughout this whole thing that I really enjoyed. And having the four Eddies on the motorcycle be different Eddies from different albums. Obviously, we had the somewhere. Uh, sorry, we had like Power Slave Eddie, um, somewhere the somewhere in time Eddie, right? I really hate. I have this bad thing where when it gets this late at night, I'm terrible, terrible at remembering uh, names of albums and stuff like that. So let me look at my references. <laughs> I couldn't, I thought, I, I, there's somewhere in time there's Power Slave. I felt like there was Seven Son of a Seven Son, but I could be incorrect with that one. Um, just off the top of my head there, I'm pretty sure we saw the Book of Souls one as well. Um, other than that, I wasn't sure about the fourth one. We have a new Samurai Eddie for this one. It looked like... It's interesting. I'm, there's a few different ideas playing here for the actual like meaning of the video. It feels like that was the devil trying to show he was... It looked like it was the devil because he did the goat form thing and then the pentagram to get rid of them and then it looks like adam and eve because of the apple so it's like a play on the adam and eve and the devil but i'm not quite sure of the whole me what do you guys think i'm i'm terrible at these at these things that's why i'm gonna ask you guys to tell me what you think this song has uh has for meaning um and maybe by the time i see your guys comments and i've heard it more maybe i'll have figured it out figured out a better idea of it and maybe I'll talk about it in the comments as well. Because um, I don't have the lyrics in front of me, but I probably will have a glance at them uh, in the near future just to make sure I pick up on all the lyrics. So maybe then I'll get a better idea. Uh, but for now, let's finish this video off. I'm, I know it's credits, but since there's been Easter eggs throughout, I want to make sure I don't miss any Easter eggs. Blink Ink did a great job on the animation. Just bombs and stuff going off. I was curious with China, he had like a little like teddy bear with like an animatronic face. I'm curious what that was supposed to represent. Doesn't look like there is an Easter egg of any kind. All right, that's it. Super cool. Um, I'm just happy to have more Iron Maiden, man. Like truthfully, <laughs> that's the biggest part of this whole thing. Um, I thought it sounded super, super cool. It, nothing that like really caught me off surprise i don't find they really surprise me too much anymore um except for maybe a song or two on on, on each album because they have like their certain sound right and they and i and i like that they do try they make like slight changes instead of making like big changes throughout their career so you do hear like new things but it's not over the top amount you know what i mean it's slight so that you still get that full iron maiden sound but there's some slight changes to still make it new. Um, that's still the impression I got off of this one. I think the one thing that did surprise me, like for instance, like last album, it was uh, it was what the final track uh, on the album on the on the Book of Souls. Um, and just pardon me for doing for looking. And I know I was saying I'm a fan and having to look up song title tracks, but uh, Empire of the Clouds, yes. Um, 
Again, I'm terrible at remembering names, and I have to remember them. Plus, Iron Maiden, again, as a band I listened to, to uh, a lot and a lot. So, so that I do have breaks from Iron Maiden as well. Like, I, Even though they're my favorite band, I still take breaks here and there. Um, just to get, you know... I take a big break, but then when I come back, I come back hard because I took a break, and I like that. So that's why I do stuff like that. Um, all in all, they sound good. Bruce sounds good. Uh... Can still tell like he's getting a little bit older, but still sounds solid on the album, and that's what I was hoping for. Uh, I can't wait to look at the lyrics while listening to this, and that's going to be my next step for sure. Uh, I see there's a lot of people that have been enjoying the track, uh, and I'm happy that it's been that way. Um, whether I enjoy this like more than anything on the last album, we'll find out. So first listen, I don't really like to base that off anything sometimes it's harder to tell especially with a band that's like not trying a completely new sound and stuff like that and it's a very familiar band obviously to me uh, it's my top band along with Devin Townsend so I like to take my time with it so hopefully you guys enjoyed checking out me if you did please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe if you're not already to get notified when I drop new videos and as always you guys have a good one and I'll catch you later